issue. This is actually where my turbine goes. I should I take it out because um, you can see the water level has started to increase. Uh, I'm going to put it back into. You can see here's my water pump. This is actually my new project that I'm going to do for pumping water. I'm going to use a water wheel and uh, hopefully it's going to turn my pump and have a, a much better water supply to actually, actually eradicate this lower piece of coal. I also would like to show you my first water wheel that I built. This is my first water wheel that I built. I just finished school and I built this water wheel to power my house. I actually drove a normal, what do you call the AC motor to supply 230 volts to my house. But um, if you can see, I have some flaws designing and stuff so I learned from my mistakes. When I built this I was 19 years old and I built this only with a generator and a bender steel from a guy that actually has a steel bender so a lot of people helped me but basically I built this on my own. And I don't know if you can see it but that small piece of iron that's sticking out there that was my very very first small ramp pump. Well, I tested here yeah, and it worked and from there I built with the big ones and I don't know if you can see it but the waterfall there there is the waterfall I'm gonna build another water wheel but brand new design and hopefully I'm gonna get enough much enough power to actually power my pump so you can see it's quite a lot of water the water level still needs to decrease a little bit, but I'm going to do this design so I don't have to worry about floods and anything like that. So I'm going to build a very strong construction. So I'm going to show you the design of the water wheel just now, and also the pump that I've been that I'm being using. And there is the turbine. We still need to put it back. We're going to probably going to put it back today. There you can actually see the. The amount of damage that actually a flood I've done to my, what do you call it? Oh well, I don't know what you call it in English, but it took the water from my waterfall to my ramp up. So even though I closed the sluices, but the water still came over top and actually damaged this whole water delivery system to my pump. So I still need to repair it. So. As soon as I've repaired it, I'm gonna start back up again with two pumps this time. Alright, and this is the water wheel that I will build, be building. I'm gonna build three of these and um, connect them together and put it in that water waterfall. So. I'm going to build it exactly like this, the same size, everything. I'm just not going to use this kind of pump. I'm going to use a normal pump. And I am just want to show you guys the damage the flood has actually done to my pit. You see, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, you see that cracks and everything down there? That's actually solid concrete at the bottom. So, and somehow the water has shifted this stuff. This cast iron steel from the railroad, railroad that I actually got as a present. So I didn't shift it, so actually rewarded it. So bummer, but luckily everything is still standing. As well as my pump at the bottom is still standing, no damage at all. So the water actually went over it, but no damage. Now, here's the other thing that I'm going to tell you guys. I'm actually going to put in here a solar pump and not any solar pump 11 kilowatt solar pump and not a DC kind I'm actually going to use an AC three phase normal motor and actually going to power it from the solar panels directly so tomorrow the bank owner is coming to see me and um, 
sounds like he's gonna borrow me the money so to do this actually so I hope he does and so I'm gonna connect this pump here I'm gonna do uh, cast this in concrete much better and hopefully would look like a much more neat and kind of stuff like that so I'm gonna actually do a no whole new pipe system from there straight to here and actually gonna eradicate my home old farm with this pump only during the day I'm working about of eight hours sunlight so I'm doing this project actually for the advertisement for the farmers yes so I'm actually a solo installer so it's actually going to be a very big advertisement for me and I'm going to show you in steps what I'm what I'll be doing not exactly you know how to just I'm going to show you steps and progress that I made so Hopefully when a bank owner comes tomorrow and says, give me a go ahead, and I don't like to make dead, but luckily the security won't be my farm, but actually the equipment itself, so if it's not working, they'll take back the equipment, but I have full faith that it will be working. So I'm going to show you how it's done. I'm thinking about six, uh, yeah. I'm going to put 66 panels on at 250 watts, so you can do the calculations from there. Quickly going to show you the other pump that I'll be using for my water wheel and just, and I would like actually your guys advice and comments on that. So I'm going to quickly go up and show you the pump that I'll be installing. And this is the pump that I'll be using for that water wheel. It's called, I know in my country, and I think it's the English name, it's called uh, Monasem. So I'm going to put it next to the water wheel and a fan belt driving it and hopefully pump a decent amount of water for the bottom half of that land. There. So I'm actually doing this video for your guys' advice. If you have any experience or advice on water wheels and pumps, Please uh, leave me a comment or save me before I start this project. So I'll keep you updated on the solar pro project as well. Hopefully by tomorrow I'll be starting a new project and uh, a first for this valley actually for farmers. And um, from there on, so I'll show you step by step. Thank you again for watching and um, thank you for your support and comments. Thank you.